Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this is the video for the practice test of systems and functions. So let's dive into this. So the first question is asking me to graph this equation. All right, it's a slope-intercept equation, so I'm going to start at 5. There I am starting at 5, and then the slope says to go down 4 over 5, so down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I wanted to, I could put another point right there. And there is my line. Now you can't see that extra point. There's that extra point. All right. Looks like another graphing problem. This time it's in standard form, so I'm going to break it up into two mini equations. So I'm going to break it up into 5x equals 30 and negative 10y equals 30. So 5x equals 30, that means x equals 6. Negative 10y equals 30, so y equals negative 3. So those are my intercepts, so I have an intercept at x equals 6. There it is right there. And y equals negative 3 right there, and I connect the dots with a line. So that's graphed. Next one, I need to find the rate of change for each of these functions. So this is y equals 7x minus 9. The rate of change is right there. It's at 7. It's the slope, slope, rate of change, same thing. Here we go. This one, it's actually a 9. It'll be corrected when you see this. So it's changing from here to here. It went up by 3. From here to here, it went down by 3. This is the rise. So I have negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. Negative 1. And then I'm going to find the slope of this graph, slope rate of change. I find two good points. So there's a good point, and there's a good point. And it's got a rise of 3 and a run of 1. So it's 3 over 1, or just a 3. So I found the rate of change for all three of those functions. This next one, it says to solve the system by graphing. And I have a graph on the next page. So I have to graph these two lines. This one's going to start at 3, go down, excuse me, up 1 over 3. This is going to start at negative 1 and go down 1 over 3. So start at 3 and go down 1 over 3. Excuse me, no, start at 3, go up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3. The other one is starting at negative 1 and going down 1 over 3, down 1 over 3, down 1. And I follow it back this way, and it takes me to negative 6, 1. Negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Um, so it's at negative 6, 1. The answer is at negative 6, 1. This guy create the slope-intercept equation for the linear function, so I need the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is right there at 5, and the slope looks like it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, so a rise of 4 and a run of 1, but it's a negative, right? Or you could go down 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, but it's still a negative, so I have it as a negative 4. So I'm going to use my intercept and my slope. So it's going to be y equals negative 4x plus 5. y equals negative 4x plus 5. We just completed the basic section. I'm going to go on to the proficient section. Oops. This one says to graph, or find this, oh, just graph it. I don't have to solve it. So the first one is starting at negative 4. Starting at negative 4 and going up 5 over 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. The second one, I'm going to use mini-me. So I'm going to go 3x equals negative 15 and 5y equals negative 15. 3x equals negative 15, so x equals negative 5. And that's right here. You can't see it. And 5y equals negative 15, y equals negative 3. So x equals negative 5 is right here. 
and y equals negative 3 is right there, and I connect the dots. This is not asking for the solution, but the solution would be right here. It would be some kind of a decimal answer. Now, we actually need to solve this system by graphing. So it's y equals negative x plus 5 and x minus 2y equals 8. So the first one is going to start at 5 and go down 1 over 1. So let me go to my graph. Start at 5 and go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. The second one, I'm going to do a mini-me with it. So I'm going to go x, x equals 8 and negative 2y equals 8. Solving that, that means y equals negative 4. So I have an intercept at 8 and negative 4, 8 and negative 4, and I followed the pattern here. It's going up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, and they intersect right there at 6, negative 1. So my answer is 6, negative 1 on that last one. Let's see, does that match my answer key? 6, negative 1. Good. There's that graph. This one says to create the equation for it. So I found my rise from 0 to 10 is plus 10. From negative 10 to negative 15 is minus 5. So this is rise over run. So 10 over negative 5, which is going to give me 10 over negative 5, negative 2. That's my slope. So y equals negative 2. And then I have to back out my intercept. So I started right here at negative 15, right? Negative 15 goes to negative 10, goes to negative 5, goes to 0. 10 goes to 0, goes to negative 10, goes to negative 20. So there's my intercept. I had to back out my intercept at negative 20. So y equals negative 2x minus 20. And then this one is select all the linear functions that have a rate of change less than 1. Well, this is negative, so it's less than 1. So I selected that. This guy, the rate of change is 3, which is not less than 1, so I didn't select that. This guy, let's see, it's going up by 3 and down by 1, so it's 3 over negative 1, which is negative 3, which is less than 1, so I selected it. And this one is 1 half, which is less than 1, so I selected it. And that is the practice test. Boom, answer key, practice tests, systems and functions. Thanks for watching.